Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rikah HaKadosh. Double honor to the true leaders of, of the nation of Israel in these last days, the apostles of Great Millstone, also known as GMS. And salutations to the Most High's men in the four corners of the earth, pushing the word of sincerity and truth. And Shalom to the sisters that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of deliverance and salvation of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. This is your brother, Yum Yum, the GMS Mississippi, with an in transit topic going into the true mercies of David. You know, the Spirit jumped on me to kind of really just fall into the acceptance of being accepted by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, because through it all, the Most High has the righteous, the elect out there that are going to be clothed in white, meaning blameless, and blemishless, and spotless. So they're going to be righteous and holy as our Lord Yahweh Shai, which is in heaven. And our Heavenly Father Yahweh is righteous and holy. You know, so just giving all glory and honor to Yahweh, who's the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, you know, who, who's His only begotten Son, in hopes and aspirations that Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai may continue to be merciful unto us. Because through it all, through the calamities of this world and the troubles in your day to day, and also having trouble in the flesh as it is written, you know, we need more than the willpower or the mindset to do so. You know, you have to have certain levels of physicality that help back up and enhance that mental state that you uh, desire uh, so heavily to have. Meaning what? That mental state to be righteous, that mental state to be holy, that mental state to uh, have remittance and repentance of sins, so on and so forth. You know, because as all things develop with the mindset first, you know, that mindset has, has to be backed up by continued actions, right? Because the scripture says that every man shall be held accountable for all of his deeds and the work of his hand, whether they be good or whether they be evil. So meaning what? That also works as it is written without faith is dead. So faith is the mindset that brings forth grace, grace, mercy, humility, contrite heart and spirit, and a continued mind that is steadfastly upon the Lord. And that faith is what pushes your works forward. All of your deeds, all of your actions, all of your activities, you know, if you're able to, to outweigh more righteousness than wickedness, then press forward. If you're able to do more good than wickedness, then press forward. You know, because the scripture states that a righteous man falleth seven times, you know, but he also knoweth when he slippeth. So with that mindset there, and knowing that that as as it is written in the book of Romans, you know, we are subject unto wickedness, we are subject unto sin, and not solely based upon all oh, we want to desire to, to do this or do that, and it and it ends up being against the word of the Heavenly Father. You know, ultimately it's these chains of darkness that we're in. And that's why we need that hope and that grace and an and, and attempt to have sure mercies as our forefather David. But the Most High allowed us that portion. We move as though he will. Because when you look at the cares of this world that the carnal man has, the carnal woman has, the wicked and the unrighteous, they have a different viewpoint about this thing we call life. The righteous and the elect and the holy, they desire to expedite the hastening of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. They desire to have wickedness stumped out. They desire to, to be taken care of and content because they know what? They know that just passing through this captivity. We're existing and living through this captivity in order 
to do as the scripture states, endure unto the end, ultimately to be saved. But those that have desires and cares for this world, they don't want it to end. They don't want it to be stumped out. They want it to continue on forever because they have wicked intentions and wicked thoughts that they want to, to be able to play out and accomplish. But they won't be able to do that in a kingdom that is ruled by a righteous Holy Spirit of discipline. So that's why it, 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 it is in your best interest to always stay in remembrance of the prophecies because as they continue to happen the scripture states that our Lord Yahweh Shai is going to come as a thief in the night and if you've ever been a victim of a robbery thievery or a break in I can guarantee you that you weren't expecting that you ever been hemmed up at a, a gas station or a parking lot out of nowhere Somebody's demanding your phone, your goods, your wallet, purse, whatever. When you live in a, a particular neighborhood to where crime has increased to a certain level, to where they're kicking doors in, coming in through the window in the wee hours of the night, or just so happily while you're away. You know, once upon a time, I was living in this particular home and like clockwork there were some thieves and some robbers constantly creeping and walking around with hoods and masks on looking for things and trying to find their way in now when I was I, I won't say staked out but when I was in a position in the mindset that I was waiting for them, they never came. Then one day here, one day there, one night here, one night there, I have to get up and I have to go do something. I mean, just like instant clockwork, they crept in as the thieves they were, every single time. You know, ultimately to the point to where I had to move. You know, and, and, and that fear in Yahweh Shai doing his appearance in such fashion because only the heavenly father Yahweh knows when he's going to give his only begotten son Yahweh Shai the green light meaning the day the time the season you know so we know it not but just as us told that this true life story of these creeping in unawares Yahweh Shai creeping unaware and, and, and we're not prepared, we're not watching, then we're gonna get caught off guard. And then when those that they get caught off guard, more than likely are gonna be disposed of. Why? Because you're not standing upon your watch. You're not looking for that grace and that mercy to be extended unto you. Because you know that Yahweh Shai is gonna come back with healing, he's gonna come back with salvation. He's going to come back with that grace and that mercy. And look at the elect as though they were good, faithful servants. You know, when you read in the book of Second Edris, you know, the prophet was given a vision. And that vision consisted of one tall man standing in the midst of of others and placing crowns upon their heads and palms in their hands and they were clothed in white and that man that was taller than the rest the scriptures state that that was the son of the most high which is Yahweh Shai so the victory is already won for the elect the elect are going to endure until the end the elect are going to be saved the elect are going to be the first fruits in the kingdom of our Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. But the elect in their state right now are continuing to work out their own salvation with fear and trembling.
as it is written. To most of us, will you receive some edification from that? Until next time, I say shalom.